Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making a delicious party favorite, chicken wings. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 425 so it's nice and hot and grease a rimmed baking sheet with baking spray. Now, in a large bowl, we're gonna make our spice rub and I'm gonna give you some of the basics. You can add all your favorites. It's a more the merrier situation. We're gonna start off with two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'm also adding two teaspoons of paprika. You can use a smoked or regular paprika. It's totally up to you. And now it's time for two teaspoons of ground pepper. These chicken wings are baked, and if you're gonna get the chicken winglets at the market, just toss them in. But I think most of the time, they really just sell chicken wings, so I'm gonna show you how to break those down and get them ready. There we go, two teaspoons. It smells very peppery. And one teaspoon of salt. The final addition is a tablespoon of baking powder, and this is going to give us a crispier chicken wing, so I'm all for that. Grab a whisk, and we're gonna mix this up. And once again, if you wanted to, you could add some chili powder in here, you could add your favorite herbs, it's all gonna work and be delicious. Our spice mixture is all done, so we're gonna set this aside, and now it's time to talk about the chicken wings. You can buy the broken down chicken winglets or actual chicken wings, which you need to break down. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but in either way, you want about four pounds. You're gonna make a couple slices, break it off into that drum, and remove the end of the wing. You'll want a sharp knife for this. Remove the end bit and give it a snap and a cut. You don't want to end up with little bone fragments or bits of cartilage, so snap it open and then slice to remove any of the tendons holding the pieces together. Both of these are going to be used. This will not. There we go. Give it a snap. That pops the joint out. And now you're going to cut in between the two bones. We're going to remove the end pieces. You can throw these away or you can freeze them and use them for a chicken stock later. A lot of the times if I'm in a rush but I've just finished like a roast chicken and there's like the bones left, I'll just pop that in a freezer bag and have it for a chicken stock later when I have more time and energy. And you can do the same thing with these little flappers. All we're going to use today are the flats and the drums. My local butcher could do a much better job of this but it's really easy and it goes by super quick. If you're in a hurry, you can also prep this out at any time before you make this. So it's not like you have to do this all together. Our wings are prepped, but they are too wet. We want crispier chicken wings and we're baking them. So we need all the help we can get. I have some paper towels out. We're gonna pat them dry so they are gonna crisp up really nicely. It's time to coat. So I'm actually gonna take a spoonful of this spice rub and set it aside and now Add your padded off chicken wings into the bowl, sprinkling this over the top. Okay, we're gonna toss these to coat. There we go. I don't have to tell you why chicken wings are great. They are really good cuts of meat. There's so much fat and the skin on them can crisp up like little vehicles for flavor. And they cook fast. If there's any spice rub lingering in the bottom of your bowl, just sprinkle it over the top. So scoop and sprinkle. And now we are gonna get this onto the baking sheet and into the oven. Plop these over. The thing is, this is a lot of chicken wings and you don't want them to steam. You want them to bake in that really hot oven. So now we're gonna move them apart so there's distance and the air can circulate through and they'll really crisp up. All right, our wings are ready to go into the oven for 25 for about 20 minutes, but big wings take a little bit longer, small wings cook faster, so you could use a thermometer if you wanna check the internal temperature and make sure it's 165. Once they're out of the oven, I'll show you how to finish these wings off so they are delicious. In you go. If you wanna give your chicken an extra crisp, set your oven to broil right as you hit the 20 minute mark and broil it for two to three minutes It'll give you just a little bit more crisp and be delicious. Just before your wings are ready, grab a small bowl and a quarter cup of butter. Melt this in the microwave at half power. This is gonna be a glossy finish for our wings. My wings are out. Grab them and transfer to a large bowl. You do wanna save any of the drippings. I'm actually gonna grab a spatula so I can get them all out because a lot of the spices kind of drizzle on off into the pan and we don't wanna waste those. That's what the flavor is. Depending on how salty you like things, you could use salted butter. I think I might just add a little bit of salt or even garlic salt to the butter just to give it some more flavor. Any kind of recipe like this is totally up to you. I'm like, 
Yes, we follow the basics of baking, we cook them all the way through, but the flavor profile is all you. It's you using your favorite spices, the right amount of salt and pepper, and adding in like all the flavors that you love. Maybe a little garlic would be nice here too. Fresh garlic. This pan is full of flavor, let's get it out. This goes right into the butter. Give that a mix. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt just for a nice finish. You add some salt into the spice rub, but this is the part where you can just finish seasoning to taste. Drizzle this all over your chicken and then we're gonna toss to coat. Warm out of the oven, these guys are hard to beat, even if you don't dip them in ranch. That's messy, but finger looking good. It's the perfect little snack, and it's like great for a game day or a party. I hope you had a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my chicken playlist.